welcome back to the Taylor Louise Budgets channel and welcome to my cash stuffing and savings challenges for my second paycheck in February. Let's do this. Alrighty, as always, I have used my paycheck budget template available on Taylor Louise Budgets to actually work out where I'm going to put my $2,265. $1,100 has already been transferred to my joint account for house expenses. $510 has already been stuffed in my target bills and that video should already be alive. And then we are going to do the rest today. So 170 will be digital and 485 in cash. So let's get on to it. Let's get going, get good. <laughs> so we should have $485 here. So let's just check 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 94, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 55, 65, 75, 85, 485 dollar reduce. Wonderful, let's get situated. Okay, $485, we always start with my wallet. We do have a couple of days left in the month. I was going to stuff and then do a bit of an unstuffing, but maybe I'll do it first so it's not confusing. So if I pull out, and I've just scribbled this on a piece of paper, but this is the money that I have spent over the last kind of few days of the week. I've had a pretty adventurous time. I did, in fact, spontaneously decide to go to a concert, spend some time with my nan and spoiled her. So we want to pull out this money. So I might do that now. Okay, a little bit of a brief intermission there because my phone came tumbling down. Part of my tripod just broke. So maybe I need to fix up my budget so I can buy a new one. We'll see. I'm currently using my tripod backwards because it keeps slipping now. Anywho, uh, so this is the money that I have spent over the past kind of week that I still need to pull out. And some of it will come from sinking funds. Some of it will come up from my wallet. So we'll do it together. So $280 total is what I need. And I might pull it from a few places. So we'll start with my wallet and maybe pull. So I know I need $280. Well, what have I got in here? I've got 25 in here. I don't think I realized that I might pull, say, 20 from there. And I'm just going to leave this five in here for now. And you'll kind of see why. So $20 I'll pull from there. Is there anything else in here? Oh, my lash appointment I haven't pulled out the money for yet. So sometimes I pay cash, but I wanted to pay on card so that I had this cash you know, on hand because I'm avoiding going back to the bank. Um, so I can just straight up highlight off the lashes and put that money aside. And I'll leave this 20 because it'll add up to a few different things. But that might be all I can pull from my wallet. Uh, actually, I've got it written down to pull. There's some food purchases. So I might pull 10 from dining as well. And then that should be all well and good. I think that'll be all from my wallet. What else can I pull from? So obviously my sinking funds. And we can see I bought a dress for myself and I went to a concert. So we are going to pull some money from the Tato spending fund. But I don't want to break a placeholder. So I'll just pull the 70 out of there. And then there's not much more. I bought my nan some books. Just wanted to treat her because we had some quality time together. So I'm going to pull $50 out of there. And I think the only other thing I've got to do is events. I think I'm going to pull, I'll pull 50 out of events. And then I'll go back. I was meant to, I was going to pull 55 out of events, but I'll pull 50 out. And then I'll go back to Tay in here and pull that other five. And then I think that will work out to be the right amount. So I had 75 already. So I need 205. And I think this is the right amount. So 51, 50, 70, 80, 90, 205. Yes, correct, the mundo. So we'll kind of talk through as we confirm. So can you see that there? Yes, you can. So I bought one of like the Amazon Daily Deal kind of things, a $5 book online. Then I did decide to go to a Macy Peters concert and the ticket was $60. And I have a reel that'll be going live on Instagram um, about that. <laughs> and it was very spare of the moment, very much me addressing my anxiety head on and really going and enjoying myself. So um, $60 for that. Uh, I spent $60 on a dress on Pretty Little Thing. No, not Pretty Little Thing. Princess Polly with a YouTuber discount code to dress up idol for a while. So $60 on that. 
And a lot of this money, remember, came out of my Tato spending. So some of that was Christmas money and so forth. So not guilty about that at all. And then we have 80 left. And so 80 left is the total that I spent on buying books for my nan as well as taking her out for lunch. So I can highlight both of those off. And those came, a little bit came from gifts, a little bit came from dining and a little bit came from my own sort of spendings as well. So not feeling guilty about that at all. Um, I justified pulling out of events because I went to a concert and that's kind of an event. We want to live life, okay? So I'm just trying not to feel guilty about spending money on experiences because that's what life is all about. We don't budget to feel guilty every time we spend money. We budget to feel comfortable and confident spending money knowing that all of our bills are paid and that we're not leaving ourselves in a lurch or getting ourselves into debt. That felt way too real. <laughs> okay, so we should have 280 here. 51, 52, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80. Perfect. This can go back to bank. And now we can actually get on with the stuffing. So I'll pull my wallet back and now we'll actually get to pump her up a little bit. It is Saturday, so I will definitely be spending that $10 on some coffee over the weekend. Um, I definitely need some fuel and I haven't got as much in this budget. I don't know what happened, but the amount that I'm stuffing into my wallet is not my normal amount. I... My money just should be disappearing, okay? I just, after my bills, I don't have much left in my salary anymore. And it's kind of freaking me out, to be honest. But we'll get straight to it. So Tay is going to get $20 instead of 50 this fortnight. I feel like I just spent enough on myself, buying myself a dress, going to a concert and so forth. So I can have a quiet fortnight in terms of spending on myself. Groceries is just going to get $150. I know that I have stuff in my freezer that I can use up, frozen veggies, frozen meat, and so forth that I can use. So $51, $20, 40 50 I have a really bad habit of spending all of my grocery money in the first week of the fortnight and then being like, oh, looks like I can't go to the grocery store in the second week and just having to like make do. So we'll see how I go with that $150 budget. Similarly, I only have $80 for dining this fortnight I just there was just no money in the budget and it's so much easier to pull from variable expenses than sinking funds so we're gonna make do fuel is just gonna get 70 it usually takes about 70 to 80 for a full tank so that's why I'm leaving that other 10 in there so 80 and I would have had lots of fuel left over but obviously I actually drove to Byron Bay for the concert so it was a two-hour drive and then I stayed in Ballina with my nan so just that driving really drained my fuel so i've got money in there now and that is all that's happening nothing for fitness nothing more for beauty there's still plenty in here i'm not gonna i've already got my lashes done for the second time of the month and we've actually got 50 dollars for my hair to be dyed and we've got another 40 for my nails to be done but they only just got done so i'm definitely going to have some rollover in that category which we love to see all well and good oh i haven't even done my change challenge yet so i'll pour out my change and yes i'm still going strong with storing my jewelry in here this was the jewelry i wore to the concert and i chucked it in my wallet all right so we only have three dollars ten today left over from paying cash for things because i'm still terrible at actually paying cash and not using my card so we will get the vitamin jar out and ready and is three dollars ten free it surely is cool bananas so three dollars ten is going to go in there and then we have a surprise announcement it's kind of funny and i'm going to tell the story even though i was originally going to keep it private but liz from liz and less has been posting on her insta stories like this funny idea that the things that your partner can say to you that can like turn you on and it's all like budget related like let's sit down and work through our budget um anywho I had a funny moment and I messaged her because my partner happened to walk out of his like room with his stuff in it with this and he goes do you have any use for some change and my heart go pitter patter and I'd be like yes I do I have a change challenge Thank you. I might not have had a Valentine's Day gift, but um, let's call her belated because I'm over the moon with the fact that this is quite heavy and I've got this cute little bin with change in it to go into my change challenge now. Like, how exciting is that? I've Anyway, anyway, brownie points for him. And I loved just like the funny moment of saying that my partner came out with change for me and turned me on. Anyway, I'm going to do what we were doing previously, which is just like a little pour. And then we'll see what we can do. So that's a little pour. We want to save the joy 
and spread it out over a couple of days. Some of these coins are a bit grotty and gross, but let's see how much we can fill up the Nature's Way vitamin jar today. We've got 51, 52, 53, 50, 70, 90, 4, 20, 40, 60, 85. Oh, this five cent piece does not want to be picked up. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. So $5.50. I've done that. And I lost the five cent out again. So it's $5.50. Is that free? Yes, it is. $5.50. I just, I, I'm just laughing at myself for how excited I got over the fact that my partner wanted to give me some change. Thank you so much. And she's done. They're seriously good. And she can go away. She's also available on my Etsy store, Taylor Louise Budgets. While we're here, while we're fresh, I also have some digital money. So the budget with our penny savings calendar, the idea is that every day you save some pennies and put it somewhere, put it to the savings challenge. So today we are tackling all of February and it's meant to be $17.70. So I have transferred $20 to my cushion. So I'm rounding her up because we don't work in pennies in Australia, but we are completing February and $20 is bumping up my cushion because she needs it. She has taken a little bit of a beating recently and I explained that a little bit more in my previous video, but. I just love being able to just like highlight 28 numbers off just in just in one go just like spam bam bam thank you ma'am she is complete and then in march we will have to save whoa forty dollars and 95 cents okay that'll be like that'll probably be like 45 dollars i have to save because i like to round things up but wow we 41 dollars next month two months down and i just love i'm excited to i'm gonna wait and work it out at the very end how much total i have saved for this because i feel like it's a little bit anticlimactic so we're gonna build up that tension and find out at the end exactly how much money this saves me in the year while we're on digital money we'll pop into my digital binder emergency oh i forgot to budget for emergency yikes i genuinely forgot how did I do that? Yeah, yikes. I completely forgot. Good thing I got in advance because I believe I did some extras and got myself ahead. So I will have to skip it this week. I can't believe I did that. I need to do something so I don't forget to do that again. But I am going to put $20 into IOG today. I did consider going, okay, well, I'll just put $20 in emergency. So at least I've done half, but no, I really wanted to put a little bit in here. So this is for my second paycheck in February, which is coming in on the... I don't even know is it the 21st 21st of feb yeah so that's the 21st of feb so 20 dollars is going to be transferred there to 866 now she's not a priority but we like to give her a little something something so 20 dollars going into there and i'm pretty sure that's all i was doing in here nothing for savings oh i lie 130 always goes to my annual bills so that she'll be ready to go so $9.95 now in there. That's in a very healthy place. And then that'll be all. Nothing for extra debt today. Nothing, nothing. Okay, cool. She's completed. And now I can stuff my actual sinking funds. And what have we got? What have we got? Tato's not getting anything. And we're going to skip actually all the way down to tech. Because tech is going to get its usual 20. So I'll put 20 in. Oh, I always forget to just like pull it all out so I can show you what's happening. So finishing off this row of 20s, which means that there's now 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 40 in there. 940, that's a solid place to be. Then health is just going to get a fiver today. 20, 40, 60, 70, 580 now. Just a little fiver. Future always gets a 10. 5, 6, oh, 5, 10, 20. I wish 5, 6, 7. So 520 in future. I'll have a sip of some water while I wait for a plane to go over. Then we're going to go pop all the way down to 
gifts because I just pulled a 50 out of here. So we want to start popping her back up. So we'll add a 10 in. So 35 in there now. And we're just going to pop a 10 in Christmas because I worked out that even if I put $20 a month, that means that I'll be at like 240, which is nowhere near enough for Christmas. So I need to at least start putting a little something in and then I can put more in with my bonus paychecks and stuff. So 20, 40, 55 in Christmas now. And then events isn't going to get any today either. That is the end of these sinking funds. We'll look, have a look at how much is left for the rest of my savings challenges. So I've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 5, 95, 100, 5, 10, 110. I've looked at the time that I've taken to film this as well, and I know that there'll be some edits, but I actually think I'm going to separate this one out. So stay tuned. I will film my savings challenges in a separate video, and I hope that you like and subscribe and hit the bell and hit the bitty bitty bell <laughs> to be notified the next time I upload, which will be the savings challenge video. So pop on over to that. Bye guys.